Okay, great. Um, these are a couple of examples to help on problems 14 through 16. Again, um, in order to start this, we need to ha have a little bit of information. And the information that we're going to need to do problems 14 is we need to know the um, formula for the area of a triangle. And the formula for the area of a triangle, area equals one-half base times height. So in number 14, this is going to be a multi-step problem. In number 14, they're asking us to find the area of this triangle. And as we're looking at this triangle, we can see they gave us the height, this red line right here, from the top down to the bottom, is 6 inches. So we can replace this height with 6 inches. Um, but we don't have a base. We don't know what this baseline is here. And so we're going to have to use some previous um, knowledge. And if we can see that this is a right angle here and a right angle here. So you can see that we have two right triangles. And we luckily know about Pythagorean theorem, which says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we can use that theorem, Pythagorean theorem, to find this unknown piece here and to find this unknown piece here. So we're going to start by finding this x, and we can see that we have an a, we don't have a b, and we have a c. So we're going to say a squared, 6 squared, plus I don't know squared, equals the hypotenuse, which is 10 squared. And if you use your calculator, we can figure out this piece here. It's supposed to be an x, 100. Um, again, math magic lets us do the opposite to make things disappear. So we'll make this 36 disappear. So we have x squared equals 64. And math magic lets me get rid of squaring by doing its opposite, which is square root. So x equals plus or minus 8, but really it's the only positive value that we need to worry about. It's 8. So we now know that this x is no longer x. It's 8. So we're almost to the uh, base. All right, we're going to do the exact same thing to figure out the other, the y. We're going to say 6 squared plus, I don't know, squared equals 7.5 squared. Well, we still know this is 36. So y squared equals, to be honest with you, I have no clue what that is, so um, I would go to my calculator. We'll double click here. Hoo hoo, my games and calculator. So here's my calculator. Clear this up. No things. Clear this. 7.5. I push the squared button. It's 56.25. Great. 56.25. 56.25. Again, we'll do the solve this by subtracting our, our little math magic here. So we have y squared equals 20.25. Uh, again, thank goodness for the calculator. Tw clear. No. Clear. 20.25. Now we're going to take the square root because that's the opposite of squaring. So I put square root. It's 4.5. Great. Now... Don't make the mistake that I make sometimes. That's not our answer. That's the other part of this base. That's the y over here. That's the 4.5. So now we have the information to find this base. The base is going to be this 4.5, and it's going to be this 8, so it's going to be 12.5. So we still can figure this out. We can say uh, area is 1 half. Area is one half. Let me say that again. Area is one half point five times uh, we said four plus the eight four and a half. Let's see, eight is twelve point five times that height, which was six. That gives us a value of thirty-seven point five. So area is 37.5. Great. Okay, a couple extra steps, but that's okay. Um, the other piece of information that we're going to need here is we're going to need to know 
for uh, question number 15, we need to know what uh, the formula is for trapezoid. Trapezoid, the area, bring this down a little bit, area equals one half base one plus base two times the height. Again, we're going to plug in the information. They're asking us in number 15, what is the height? So we're going to be looking for this piece. Well, uh, kind of cool, I'll show you a little bit this, but we, this is a trapezoid, and I'm going to actually rotate it, now if it lets me, uh, it won't let me, but anyway, imagine if I rotated this, that's not what I want, oh, never mind, if I could rotate it, I would rotate this and show you that um, this is a trapezoid, and that these are my right angles, so my bases are going to be the 10 and the 20. So the bases are 10 and 20. So my area, which they gave me up here, 225 equals 1 half, and then I'd say 10 plus 20 times my height. And now we're going to just use our math magic. Well, before we do math magic, let's just get rid of some stuff first by multiplying and adding. So 10 plus 20 is 30. Half of 30 is 15. So really, this is 15 times height. And then math magic lets me get rid of that by dividing by 15. And 15 divide, uh, 225 divided by 15 is 15. Now, so I figured out this height value is 15. And the last thing we need to do is label it with centimeters. So we got 15 centimeters. All right. Good luck.